Hello everyone, this is Smiling Dominator here and welcome to the first ever Truth Is, where I talk about Shimmy Gami Tensei games and shine more of a light on them. With that being said, enjoy the video. There were a few games that were released in the West with the Shimmy Gami Tensei name to it. Shimmy Gami Tensei 3 Nocturne, Double Summoner Raidu Kusanoa vs. the Soulless Army, Double Summoner Raidu Kusanoa vs. King of Baden, Persona 3, Persona 3 Fest, and Persona 4. With Persona growing into his own beast to stand up without the Shin Megami Tensei name, Persona 5 Strikers fanning the flames of people wanting another Raidu Kusanoa game and Nocturne HD Remaster coming out on May 25th, there's a series that I feel like doesn't get enough praise for coming out in that time period as Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. In Japan, the series known as Digital Devil Saga Avatar Tuner. Today's video will focus exclusively on Digital Devil Saga 1 with light spoilers about the series. Digital Devil Saga first released in Japan July 15th, 2004 with the best edition coming out in 2006 in North America April 5th, 2005 and Europe July 21st, 2006 on PSN in North America May 20th, 2014 and PSN Europe June 4th, 2014. The character and demon designs were made by Kazuma Kaneko, while Shoji Meguro was the music composer, which you can hear his love of jazz and hard rock elements throughout the game. The story was originally created by Yu Godai, who is a huge fan of Shin Megami Tensei, by the way. She was contracted by Atlas to pen the story for Digital Devil Saga before leaving because of health problems, having Todashi Satomi step in to finish the series story. Tadashi is known for creating the story for Revelations Persona, Persona 2 Innocent Sin, and Persona 2 Internal Punishment. Yuga Dai will later come back to finish penning what she originally wrote, calling it Quantum Double Saga Avatar Tuner, having many differences to the game's story. Quantum Double Saga Avatar Tuner was first released in February 2011 and was completed in October 2011 in Japan. Later to be published and translated in America by Bento Books, the first volume released on July 31st, 2014, and the second volume was released on September 13th, 2017. As of right now, there has been no confirmation of receiving a third volume. There are also other manga series that were published in Japan, such as Digital Devil Saga Avatar Tuna Anthology Comic and Digital Devil Saga Avatar Tuna Shinin no Moto, which was created by Yamasaki Moeji. Released in 2005 and completed with one volume, this story features a different cast of characters trying to learn and get used to having their outmas with the original characters of Digital Devil Saga having cameos in this series. In an interview with IGN and Atlas USA, known as Atlas West now, it was said by Bill Alexander that the design for this series was to make the franchise more appealing to a broader audience. Atlas Japan hoped to expand its audience in both countries by making the game more appealing and accessible to mainstream gamers, while staying true to its roots. Tom Hewlett, another Atlas employee at the time, chimed in and said while Nocturne is geared towards more hardcore players, Digital Devil Saga should appeal widely to everyone who enjoys a good adventure. Digital Devil Saga borrows a lot from Nocturne's engine graphics and gameplay, such as bringing back press turns, playing off of foes' weakness, and knowing what they shield is still a key mechanic in the series, giving you extra press turn icons. Even though Wild Nocturne relies on negotiating with demons to join your team, Digital Devil Saga allows your characters to transform into demons, you can also revert back to your human form to do physical damage with your guns, which some enemies are weak to. Depending on your characters, you can shoot multiple enemies or one. Selecting and maxing your mantras allows your characters to learn new moves after devouring your foe's Atma, and instead of calling experience points, it is called Karma, which you gain at the end of the battle. There's another difference that Digital Devil Saga takes on as well. Instead of Moon Phases or Kagasuchi, we have Solar Noise. During Minimum Noise Phase, chances to auto recovery from elements is increased while escaping from battles is a lot harder. From 6 to Max Noise Phase, increase attacks by each phase, making Max Noise being the highest increase for attacks. Max Noise Phase is easier to escape from battles, and certain cells are sold at the highest price at the vendor store. There are a few extra side bosses, side quests, and even a special easter egg you'll get to fight once you reach a certain area in the game. So try to level your characters and learn as many mantras as possible. This game also allows you to carry over your save data from a complete version of Digital Devil Saga 1 to Digital Devil Saga 2, giving you items and unlocking the hard mode at the beginning of the game if chosen. As you can already tell, the series is heavily influenced and uses terms of Hinduism, for example, Atma, 
can be referred to the essence of oneself mantra, which are a sacred group of words that is believed to have a spiritual ability and magical powers to themselves while being uttered. Karma being EXP in the game, but in Hindu translates to action. With a good action will lead to a beneficial future effect, while a bad action will lead to a harmful future effect. While in this game, Nirvana has seen more of a place to escape to and be free from the junkyard, and Hindu is a place that the soul rests and returns to Brahman after living multiple lives. The story of Digital Devil Saga revolves around the junkyard where it reigns endlessly. There are six tribes, the Embryon, Vanguards, Brutes, Solids, Marybell, and the Wolves. The group to kill all the leaders of the other tribes is granted access to Nirvana. While the Embryon and Vanguards are fighting, a black egg-like object separated the two groups. While trying to figure out what the object was and who sent it there, a light is seen that blinds both sides, awakening the people of the junkyard's Atmas turning them into demon tumors, also known as avatar tuners. The Embryon wait to a massacre to devour bodies, and in the crater they find a black haired girl who is named Sarah. Later at the Karma Temple that oversees the junkyard, requested the leaders from all the tribes to meet to be informed that a new law was put into place to devour the other leaders and bring back the black haired girl. Whoever can achieve this, they can enter into Nirvana. Starting the story of Digital Devil Saga. In Digital Devil Saga, you're allowed to play as five playable characters, but using three in your party. Sarah, a non-playable character, she's a mysterious black-haired girl that is needed to reach Nirvana. She can calm the mindless hunger with a singable prayer, allowing them to not lose control of themselves and go berserk. She appears the same time as the demon virus that affects everyone in the junkyard. Surf is the main character in the player's controllable character. He's the leader of Embryon. Having the ability to add stat points to him whenever you level up and choose his dialogue choices throughout the story of the game. Argilla, the second in command and loyal to Surf. She questions what it is to be human and why must they devour one another to survive. Heat, never questioning Surf until awakening his Atma, he starts to learn and be confused of his emotions of anger, frustrations, and jealousy that he can barely control, sometimes lashing out at Surf and whoever stands in his way. Gale, the logical and tactical advisor of Umbreon, finding ways to attain victory for the game, rarely showing his emotions, he keeps a calm, cool, and collective mindset. Cielo being the last playable member of Embryon, after waking his Atma, Cielo changes the most with his personality becoming more upbeat and friendly. The truth is, Digital Devil Saga is a series that can easily be missed during the PS2 era of Shin Megami Tensei games, and even now, with Nocturne's remaster release just being over a month away. The series takes what makes Nocturne a great game, but builds on it with the religious aspects and influence of Hinduism, making the story and characters stand out beautifully. Also, now that it's known that the PSN stores are closing down on July 2nd, 2021 for PS3 and August 27th, 2021 for the Vita, it's the best time to get into this game series and a lot of other games that are locked only to the PS1, PS2, PS3, and PSN. Digital Double Saga 1 and 2 are available on PSN for $10 each, while the physical copies can run you up to $20 to $30 each as of right now. These prices for the physical will surely rise once the digital versions aren't available. They have risen in the past to be a hundred more dollars before the game were reprinted and released on PSN. Do not let this game reach Nirvana without you playing it. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed the start of the Truth Is series. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also comment and let me know if you want to play Digital Devil Saga series now or you already have. Did you enjoy it? Would you like a remaster for this game? I will try to make a video being more in depth about Hinduism and Digital Devil Saga on a later date. But once again, thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you next time.